Welcome to QAvalidation.com So, uh, in our previous video on the protractor series, we have seen how to run the protractor test in Chrome browser and then in your Firefox browser and then we have seen how to log the console or else how to log uh, different messages into a log file Okay, so now in this series we will see how we can handle different web elements now uh, the angular elements is like uh, text box or your buttons or uh, we call it uh, tables let's say so tables are nothing but uh, ng repeaters and drop downs so we will see how we can handle by using protractor so the web element series will be divided into two to three parts so let's get started okay so to get, get the web elements and the angular i have found this website uh, global sqa and uh, they have uh, kind of a sample application that has uh, almost all the web elements that we need to automate okay so first let me go through the uh, process how exactly this application is working and then we will see how we can automate it okay so the so this is basically a bank application so here add a customer so you have to add customer by providing the details into this text boxes and uh, once you add a customer it will pop up a kind of a alert and we'll see how to handle that alert as well so let's say i'm giving some name here okay and some postal code and when we click add customer it will give you this alert okay so once you are done with that then you have to open an account okay so here whatever the name i entered into the customer details that will populate here that we need to verify and then select that and there are different uh, currencies are there so let's say i am putting as rupee once i click on this process again another alert appears so we need to handle that as well once we are done with the customer and opening an account then this is a great and if you see here at the bottom whatever the details you entered those things are coming okay so we need to verify if this element is uh, i mean this um, name is uh, entered here or not or an entry is made or not for that uh, particular customer and an account and then we have to click on the delete so this is the total process that um, we will try to automate that okay so let's get started so what i will do uh, we had this calculator.ts file right we have seen earlier so what i will do i'll copy paste this one okay i'll copy this one and let's create one folder and i'll give it as a test spec okay so under this i'll create a file so let's say that uh, bank bank test dot ts okay and i'll paste that so i need only that structure for that to get the structure i copy paste it so i don't need this particular content and here this eight block also i don't need i mean the content i don't need we will write our own logic here and for this let's uh, put that url so i'll start it from here so let's copy paste this one okay so my url is set okay and here i'll say that uh, banking project okay banking project test and before each and then here what we need to do verify the flow okay let's try this way okay so now what we will do we have to identify these three elements so let's try to inspect this one so if you see here uh, there is something called as ng model that is f name and the same thing there is again another one that is l name and another one the postal code post cd and then there should be a button that is add customer okay so we'll try to automate that and here what i will do let's try to identify the elements one by one okay so element and then by model okay and here pass that uh, pa uh, that string that is f capital n a m e and dot send case and then give some thing let's say a b c 
okay and then again find out that uh, last name element dot by dot model last name is uh, l capital n a m e dot send case and then give uh, x y z okay and then that postal code by dot model and here should be p o s t okay capital c d p o s t capital c d dot send case so let's put something okay so done now the next thing is that my that button i need to identify okay so that button so here something we have uh, okay class name is there so let me copy this one by dot class name okay and this should be click so once i'm done with this uh, thing what it will do it will pop up a alert so for uh, identifying an alert what you need to do here browser dot okay you have to switch to that alert okay so switch to it's the same thing as you are doing in case of your um, selenium okay so browser dot switch to alert so what i will do first thing i need to get that content okay if that uh, customer is created or not and the second thing i need to accept that so that the alert will go away so what i will do i'll put a i'll create a variable which will hold that alert for the first time now what i will do i need to get that text from there okay so sometimes what happens the alert could take some time so what you need to do there is a method that is expected condition we were uh, using that in selenium right so we'll try to replicate that so before what i can do here i'll create some variable equal to so to get that expected condition you should not use browser but you should use protractor okay protractor dot expected conditions see here expected conditions that's it so ec will hold your expected condition now the next thing is that you need to wait till that browser will appear okay so browser dot wait it's a method so in this you need to use that variable dot alert is present see you can see a method there okay and then you have to give some weight there so some weight in milliseconds so let's say that four seconds okay and then you can provide some message so let's say that after four seconds also you are not getting that alert so what you can say alert not found fine so you can do like this once that uh, so if alert is found then it will go to the next line if alert is not found it just gives you this uh, error message alert not found okay so let's say a positive scenario where you are getting that alert okay so now we have to get that uh, text there so i'll create another variable so let's say alert text equal to alert dot get text okay and this is a method so now i got that uh, what do you call that uh, text whatever now there i need to compare actually that one because see i'll go to that so here what happens if you enter something so here you can see customer added successfully with customer id 12 so we don't care about this thing so we will just try to see if customer added successfully message is appearing with that uh, alert or not that we need to check it so i need to verify here okay so let's say that um, so here what i will do let's put some browser dot slip let's make so that you can see that alert is appearing so the it so sometimes what happens it will be very fast to what do you call fastly it will go away so you can't observe that so here what i will do alert text okay then dot contains we can say so there is something to contain yes to contain and then that text whatever that text so what happens if this particular text is coming then we will see that uh, this is verified so what i can do at the end alert dot accept okay so due to that only i created that uh, this alert variable because once i need that get text another is that uh, i need to accept it okay so here we handle that uh, alert here okay 
so let's try to run and see if it is working properly or not okay but before to that let me change into the configuration.ts file so here what happens before we had tried this option right calculator.ts but now our file is not under specs it is under test spec actually test spec and the file name is also changed and here it should be bank text bank test fine okay now we'll do first we need to start the browser right web driver manager so dot bin so web driver start okay so that my selenium server will be up and running fine selenium server is up and running now add another terminal and here what you need to do npm test okay so it will pop up your browser chrome browser so here it is popped up so here you can see customer added successfully and it handled that alert as well and you can see it is passed okay so this is the way you can handle a text box and a button and then you can handle the alert as well sometimes what happens if you want to know the complete text of that uh, alert dot get text you can print that into the log file as well so what i can do here so alert text so remember we have to resolve the promise actually directly we can't print this alert text like a console dot log alert text we can't do that we have to resolve the promise so here then then function and here we need to pass that text and then here what you need to do so let's our log we already created a log file configuration right so log for js config dot log method dot debug okay so from where i'm getting from here okay so that we had discussed in our previous video on the protractor logging that's what i'm using here okay so here what i can do okay i can directly pass this parameter here like this and if you run this one then what it will do it will create it will add all these details and then it will click on that button add customer and then it will get the text will print into a log file and then it will compare that particular text if that alert text is uh, as expected or not then it will accept that alert so that is the way you can handle the alerts and the buttons so that's all for this series uh, in the next series we will see some more uh, web element handling okay thanks for watching and stay tuned